Where? Where is he? Nice checking beds. Oh, slippery. Did he see me? I can't jump up there. Whoa. Let me just quickly pick up this battery. What's the secret? No. You and Buddy uh, from the first, well, this is the first, but from the original storyline need to become friends. Oh shit. Oh shit. I am not your friend, buddy. Try to remember how to get back to that guy. Oh shit, oh shit. Ah, oh, and this is Buddy right up here. I think. Yeah, right there. Back. It's like... I really hope there's a lot of batteries in this one, because it is fucking dark. Whoa! Shit. 
shit. Oh, fuck. And cook? Well, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh my god. Get out! Come on! Oh shit. I was never yours! Man, it's just so dark in here! Father Clark, far be it for me to lie to a man of God. So let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth of necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all, we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Shouldn't known it wouldn't be that easy. They're probably labeling the doors wrong anyway. I'm sure exit isn't the exit. Oh, I was in this room, wasn't I? Oh shit. Oh my god, I went through. Oh, there's one. Oh, 
Oh, there were boxes there. In fact, I thought I fell right down. Ah, damn it. I just want it. Oh shit. Make it! Make it! Oh shit. be doing something I don't know what I could possibly do though See me now. Just try. I'll leave you guys in the peace okay so what door did I come through I think it's I don't know this one I think I went through oh maybe maybe not I don't know Whoa! <laughs> this is a door. I had a feeling. Had it. Really? Not coming after me? Okay. Whatever. I don't think I can jump all this though. No way, man. Oh shit! Should I turn on the light? It's a very small room to run out of. And there he is. Ah, I let me pass. Oh, of course, of course. Shit, shit. Fear. 
Is there nothing? Nothing up here! Fuck! Where do I go? Yeah, but I can't jump up there. What the fuck is that? Yeah, there's nothing up there. Damn it! That one was a little misleading, I have to say. Yeah, because there's... let me see. Yeah, it's nothing. Oh, maybe up there. Okay. I just had it at the wrong angle. Yeah, he can't get me. I got time to vape. Watch Elsa and he climbs in. Thanks for that follow, Jelly Lips. Jeez. Oh, that's the same. Well, what the hell, man? Oh no, it isn't the same one. Oh shit! Just put me everything's leading back to the same fucking rooms. <laughs> Whoa. Documents. Therapy status, minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages five and six levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Diagnostics, heavy bronchi bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana. Exceptionally low REM activity. Interview notes. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9, concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. 
He continues to refuse baths or the intention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Monera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through that German so-called therapy. The engine, so much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them. And too many. Other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. Dr. Rosset said the engine had varying effects. The variant outcome's too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk. Rawls endless chatter. I should have listened. You should have. Don't see your name on it. Just saying. You fuck off, buddy. as a document. I lost my bearings. Okay, there's that door. Okay, we're going over here then. Mine! Oh shit. You were mine! There's you gotta be able to get up there. Come on. There we go. jump down. Guess I have to. Oh shit.
Not totally sure if I was supposed to come back down here. I think so. Yeah, that looks it looks good. Okay, that does not help. <laughs> 